How to find a photographer for your modeling portfolio. Finding a photographer for your modeling photos is no easy task. But by the end of this video, you will know exactly what to look for and how to find the perfect photographer to help you build your portfolio. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd. I have been a professional photographer since 2010, and I have helped many a model build their portfolio. It's actually how I got started, because I needed to learn how to take pictures of people, and these models had no experience, which was ideal for me, because it prepared me to photograph clients who had no experience in front of a camera. Uh, and then as I got better, we got to be more strategic, and I've learned a ton about helping these models build their portfolios, even when they're not working with me. So I'm going to share with you my five tips, plus I'm going to give you a bonus one at the end on how to find the perfect photographer to help you build your modeling portfolio. Now, when I say perfect photographer, I mean one who is going to help you accomplish a specific type of shoot. Keep in mind, you're going to want to work with lots of photographers because you'll learn something different from everyone and you will develop different skill sets working with different types of photographers, and you'll have a more diverse portfolio. So find more than one, preferably. Okay, so I'm going to talk about Facebook groups. So my five tips, and I'm going to make you wait for the sixth bonus one at the end, so stick around for that. Using Facebook groups. Number two is Model Mayhem. Number three is Meetup. Number four, Getting Referrals. And number five, Hairstylists and Makeup Artists. So let's dive into Facebook groups. This is a fantastic way to find new photographers to work with. You can go on Facebook, search for local groups, type in your geographical area plus photography or models or anything related to that. Try different keywords and see what's available. There's a handful of groups in my area. Now, given I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area, huge art scene plus an obscene amount of people in a small space. So we've got everything here, but I can guarantee that at least your big city, your nearest large city or town will have something. If not, maybe it's a great opportunity to start one. But you can join the Facebook groups and you just post in there like, hey, I'm a model looking to do these kinds of shoots. Are there any photographers who would like to work with me? Just make sure you put in your post what exactly you are looking for. If you have a mood board like on Pinterest or something, link that as well. Be specific. Don't just post in there, hey, new model looking for a photographer who wants to collab because, I don't know, do you want family photos? Do you want boudoir photos? Do you want fashion photos? Do you want photos of your cat? People don't know what to expect. Or if you're like, oh no, I don't do swimwear and boudoir stuff and all you're getting are boudoir photographers, that's a waste of everyone's time. So be very specific in your posts when you join these groups. That being said, if you join a group and you notice everything is one specific kind of photography in there, probably not the best group for you. Just go find another one. Number two, model mayhem. This is the OG way to find anyone in the photography industry for any sort of project you are working on. There's people of all ability levels all over the world that do photography, videography, hair, makeup, modeling, editing, wardrobe styling, set design, you name it, they're on model mayhem. It's a phenomenal resource. So you go in and you create your account, sort of like having a social media profile, and you upload your photos, your description, your measurements, the things that you want to do, the things that you don't want to do. And then you can go and post job available, you know, model looking for a photographer. These are the specific things that I want to shoot. Contact me if you're available. Or you can go to the job open section and you can look to see what people have already posted. So find a photographer in your area who's looking for a model for a kind of project that you're interested in and you can message them to get on board. That is my recommendation there. That is where I got all the models to start teaching photography back in 2012. I used to host two to three workshops a month and it was a great opportunity to meet all these new models, give them some great um, experience in front of the camera. Also, when you go to a workshop with say six other photographers photographers. Set your expectations. You may not get the most mind-blowing photos when you're only working with newbie photographers who are learning brand new concepts. 
but you're going to get great experience working with different kinds of people and just the amount you're going to learn in how to take direction, how to work with new people, how to communicate effectively, how to figure out what somebody is trying to get out of you. That is really going to help boost your portfolio because of the skills that you're going to learn. So again, you may not get the most amazing photos out of working with a newbie group, but you certainly will learn a lot. And there's a pretty good chance somebody in the group is going to be really good and you'll still get great photos. Just make sure that if you are going to do these group scenarios, you vet whoever it is running the group. And I'll get to more of that in the meetup section. So whoever it is you're working with, see if they have, you know, what other people had to say about them, what their reviews are, if they have any testimonials, if they're running a real business, things like that. Um, And if you look in their portfolio, message some other models that this person has worked with because you usually tag the other creative in your portfolio and just ask questions like, hey, how is it working with so-and-so? Just want to know if they're legit or if I should stay away because there are a lot of creepers with cameras and I don't want you to make the wrong choice and end up with someone who just makes a really uncomfortable scene. So just be sure to vet everyone that you work with. But that's a great resource use model mayhem. Okay, number three is meetup.com. This is an often overlooked place to find a ton of photographers. Meetup is essentially, uh, it's a website that allows people to come together in a thing like a Facebook group, and it's designed to host events. So a meetup host will create, you know, a local photographer's group. People join that group, and then the host will have, you know, one or two events a month where they host a photo shoot of some kind. People sign up as photographers. They hire models to come in and model the shoot. And then lots of photographers work with that model for the day. So again, this is sort of like working with the the Facebook groups or with Model Mayhem. You can find really good people. You can find workshops where you'll get experience working with lots of different kinds of photographers. And then you can make connections while you're at those. You're like, hey, I really liked working with that person. Let's exchange info and we can do, you know, a solo shoot later on without the crowd. So a couple different ways to approach all of those. But again, please vet who it is that you're working with. You know, as a a meetup host, I found it getting harder and harder in my area. This was back in like 2013, 2014, to hire models to come in and do my workshops. I wasn't even shooting boudoir at the time. These were, you know, fashion, fully clothed, public locations, and models were just not wanting to do the shoots. And I was paying them whatever their rates were. This wasn't even a free gig. But there were two people in my area also hosting meetups. And when the models would show up, they would, well, first they were setting false expectations. They're like, I'm not going to pay you, but you can sell a model release to every photographer who shows up. Well, the photographers aren't going to pay for the model release. So the models weren't making any money, but they were agreeing to these terms ahead of time thinking they were going to make two or three times their normal rate. But the host was being super shady and lying to them about the expectations. Also, when they were arriving, he was then pressuring them into taking clothes off for underwear photos or artistic nudes that was never agreed on in the first place. And a lot of models felt intimidated and either left or did it begrudgingly and then regretted it. And then it just it was really, really unfortunate that these few people were were being so terrible. So I want to make sure you don't end up in that position. So vet whoever it is you're working with, see who else has modeled for them and reach out before you contact these hosts. Um, Because even if they seem legit on there, always ask for a second opinion from someone else who has been there before you. I cannot stress that enough. And I don't want to make it seem like everyone out there is terrible. They're not. There's a ton of amazing photographers I'm excited for you to work with. Just protect yourself, please. All right. Number four is ask for referrals. So just like with Meetup, if you're on Model Mayhem, if you're in Facebook groups, if you know other models, just ask them and see if they know any photographers you might want to work with. Uh, Post on your Instagram account, post on your Facebook page. Hey, I'm looking for photographers who shoot these kinds of things. Do you know anybody? I'd love to work with somebody new and just see, 
if anybody in the non-photography space or if any of your model friends have a recommendation. Number five is hairstylist and makeup artists. Basically asking for referrals also, but there are ways that you can set up more stylized themes. So you can reach out to makeup artists and hairstylists on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook. Like, hey, I'm looking to expand my portfolio. I love the work with you've done, you know, their eyeliner style or the way that you curl hair or the colors or whatever. Uh, if you ever need a model for a shoot, I would love to volunteer. And this is an opportunity to work with more creative people, do more stylized shoots, which will really up your portfolio, and they might know photographers. So you can also ask, hey, do you know a photographer for this? They probably do because photographers love to contact makeup artists and hairstylists. Also, if you're searching for local photographers in these Facebook groups or find local photographers' business pages, see who they're tagging as their makeup artist and reach out to that person. So another great way to do that. You can also go to uh, beauty schools, you know, schools that teach cosmetology and find out if any of the stylists in there are looking to build their portfolio and do photo shoots because they, they probably need portfolio work just as much as you do. So together you can team up to have great hair and makeup for your shoots. Also, just to know more people and grow your network. Alrighty, so the sixth option, the bonus choice that I have been holding back on you is kind of kind of magic. If you just go on Google and type in photographer and whatever genre you're looking for, fashion or boudoir or whatever the thing may be, boho photographer, indoor photographer, outdoor photographer, and just you know, click on everybody for the top page, close out the window. You're going to start to get Facebook ads uh, and on Instagram for photographers similar to what you do, and they're going to be in your area. So they will find you essentially through their marketing. Obviously, you can contact people that you've clicked on through the Google search, but the ads, I think, is really where the magic happens. You'll find a ton of people coming to you that way, at least showing up in your feed through ads. Click on those, and you know when you like their style, you can reach out to them and ask if they need any models for anything, for portfolio work, if they have any new shoots they're looking to explore, and that would be a great way to find new photographers while also looking for photographers. So there you go. Those are my five plus a bonus one, tips on how to find a photographer to build your modeling portfolio. Number one, Facebook groups. Number two, Model Mayhem. Number three, meetup.com. Number four, ask for referrals. And number five, find a hairstylist and a makeup artist because they probably know a photographer too. If you want to start practicing poses, specifically in the boudoir fashion realm, I've got a great video on how to pose for boudoir. And again, you don't have to do these in underwear. You can do them fully clothed their fashion inspired boudoir poses because that's what I shoot. So check out that video. I'll have it linked down below. And I've got other killer videos on this channel about how to find the perfect photographer for you if you are looking to hire somebody. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. You are amazing. See you soon.